uh, Terry? Um, well, I, I just drifted into the industry. I mean, I had no, I never had a burning desire to work in it. And uh, <laughs> I was at college doing <laughs> mathematics, and I guess I wanted to be a mathematician or a musician. And I was useless at both, so. <laughs> and I just, um, I responded to an advertisement for a, a driver for a documentary film company in Soho, in London. Um, and I applied and uh, I got the job and I thought that was it, you know, I didn't really, I was never really ambitious. I just liked driving the, the artists around in a van and I thought I was, I was, I was the king. <laughs> um, and getting teased for, you know, uh, people, uh, actors and directors and, and parking their cars rather like Cookie and 77 Sunset Strip way back. Um, and then I was a third assistant director for a while for this documentary company. And I hated it because everyone would shout at you. The first assistant would shout at you, the second assistant, and it was so uncivilized. <laughs> um, and then an opportunity arose to be an apprentice uh, in the cutting room. And I thought that was, I immediately took to it because it just suited my personality, I think. Um, and I stayed an assistant for a long time, but again, it was never, I've got to be an editor. I thought I'd just be a good first assistant. And I enjoyed, for me, I enjoyed every stage. Um, and eventually, I mean, after many years, I became an editor and then, and, and really loved it. So it just, it just suits me to be an editor. I didn't want to be on the floor. I didn't really, I did a bit of directing here and there, but it never really appealed to me. So that's, that's my story. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I guess we have to ask each of you. That. <laughs>